Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a grammar lesson and the subject is prepositions of time, the words by and until. So, as a preposition of time, by means before a specific time. By shows a time limit for something to happen. So, an event must happen before a specific time is reached. Example. Please deliver the parcels by Monday. By Monday. So, Monday is the specific time. And this means we are asking someone to deliver the parcels before Monday, before the specific time. Jane would like to lose three kilograms by June. So this means that she would like to lose three kilograms before June. So June is the specific time and the preposition by means before. Okay? More examples. We often use by for deadlines. A deadline is the a date or time um, before which um, something must happen or something must be delivered. Example. All job applications must be received by the 15th of July. So the 15th of July, this is the specific time, this is the deadline, and job applications must be received before the 15th of July. Okay? And we often use by to say when someone will return. Example. Mark says, where is Jane? And David replies, she is in London. She will be back by Saturday. She will be back by Saturday. This means she will come back before Saturday. So maybe Friday, maybe Thursday, maybe even during the day on Saturday itself. Okay, so um, to be back or will be back means um, someone will return. It's a very common, very common and useful expression. By then. We use the expression by then to mean before a specific time that we have already mentioned. So perhaps we have already mentioned a specific time in a previous sentence. Example. Tomorrow is the last day of school. You must finish all the exercises by then. So here is the specific time and it is in the first sentence. It is the word tomorrow. And here is the expression by then. So this is referring to tomorrow. So this means you must finish all the exercises by tomorrow. Okay? By then. The TV show starts at 9 pm. So please brush your teeth by then. So this means please brush your teeth um, before 9 p.m. But since we have already um, mentioned the specific time here, then we use by then. Until. This is a different preposition of time. Until describes a continuous action that stops at a specific time. 
So the important word here is continuous. Until describes the duration of an action before a specific time. Example. I'm staying in New York until Friday. I'm staying in New York until Friday. So this means, for example, perhaps today is Monday and I'm in New York. So it means I will be in New York today, tomorrow, um, and every day until Friday. And then Friday, I will leave New York. Mark lived in Paris until 2010. So this time we are using the past tense. So this means in the past, Mark um, lived in Paris until 2010. So in 2010, perhaps he moved, he stopped living in Paris and he lived somewhere else. So it is the duration. The children are tired. Last night they watched cartoons until 10 p.m. Until 10 p.m. So this is the specific time. Okay? Till. T-I-L-L. -L. Well, we can use till instead of until. The meaning is the same. Exactly the same. But till is more informal. It's very common in spoken English. Example. I'm going to read till nine o'clock. So this is correct. Or I am going to read until nine o'clock. This is also correct. And the meaning is exactly the same. Be careful of the spelling. Until has one L, one letter L. And till has two letter Ls. Okay, so just be careful. From, until. So from plus a specific time indicates the start time of an event and until plus a specific time indicates the end time of an event. Example. So a shop is now closed. So we can say the shop will be closed from 7 p.m. until 8 a.m. tomorrow. So between this time and this time, the shop is closed. So the start time of the shop being closed is 7 p.m. And the end time of the shop being closed is 8 a.m. tomorrow. Okay. And so we use until like this in both British English and American English. But American English, they also have a different way of saying this. Now, this is only American English. The shop will be closed from 7 p.m. through 8 a.m. tomorrow. Through 8 a.m. tomorrow. And this is only American English. So the Americans use the word through to mean until, okay? But this is, um, we do not really use this in British English, okay? When not to use until. These are some common mistakes um, often by speakers of other European languages, perhaps French or Spanish or Italian. So in English, 
we do not use until to describe numbers or a quantity. Example. The tram can take until 50 passengers. In English, this is wrong. Okay. Um, this is correct in, in some other languages, but in English, this is wrong. Instead, we use up to. Example. The tram can take up to 50 passengers. So this is correct. Another example is you may take the accounting exam until three times. In English, this is wrong. The correct version is you may take the, count, the accounting exam up to three times. Up to three times. Okay? So for numbers, um, a quantity, um, frequency, um, we use up to. Quiz. I've got a question for you. Here are two sentences. I will be rich by 2020. And I will be rich until 2020. So both of these sentences are grammatically correct. Okay, so this is correct and this is correct. But the meaning is very different. And so my question is, what is the difference in meaning? So here we are. This sentence, it means that in the present, I am not rich. So at the moment, currently, I am not rich. But I predict that I will be rich before 2020. So it is perhaps my objective to be rich before 2020. I would like to be rich before 2020, but now I am not rich. But this sentence is different. In the present, I am already rich. Now I am rich. And I will continue to be rich between now and 2020. However, after 2020, I will no longer be rich. I will be poor, perhaps. So, you can see the different, uh, the, the two sentences, the meaning is very different. So this is a very good example of the difference between by and until. It's a very good example to show the difference. Okay, so there we are. That is the end of the lesson. Here are some other videos which you might be interested in watching. You just simply need to click on the screen to start the video. So my name is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.